It's just such a beautiful day, praise the Lord. Oh, hang on, Billy. Where's my lens? Hey, hey, hey. Stay there. Stay there. Stay still. Sit. Spike. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Right. Good boy, come on in. You think it was a, a Monday? It's a Sunday. Not it makes any difference these days to the world because uh, the world's all out on the weekends. I wanted to just give a, a, a few thoughts and testimonies today. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I just cut my finger. It's all blood down my dog. Uh, I was filming and it, that was kind of a, a reminder of the flesh. Um, I was filming these uh, birds in these trees and uh, uh, there's a dog approaching that just come out of nowhere and uh, my dog reared for it and I got caught, rescued to, to c control my dog on the lead to stop him snapping at this other dog, uh, which I avoided. I realised I really hurt my finger and, I, and then, then I stopped to speak to this other um, elderly neighbours of mine and um, they said, oh, you, your, dog, your dog's cut. And I said, no, it's me, my finger was really hurting. I just realised at that point. And, and then this morning I woke up um, just really praising the Lord and really uh, rejoicing in, in my salvation, thinking, oh, like how, how as a child I used to hate going to bed and I, I used to hate getting up. And I had the thought, well, you know, I just, I hate, I hate going to bed and I, you know, and I hate staying in bed. Even when I'm ill, I don't really like lying down. It's only when I like, when I really need it, that my flesh has really had enough, that I need, I need to rest. But even, even then I don't like sitting still, I never have done. So I, I just got up today and thought, oh, I'd take the dog out for a walk, but I'm not, I can't go far because I've injured myself. And I thought, oh, I'll just, take a little stroll and just to remind myself and appreciate all the all the wonderful blessings of uh, my salvation and, and just to count them and be grateful and to just a day of reflection and a morning of refre reflection before I go back home and, and um, continue my day. Um,
read in the scriptures and study and uh, gather together and um, partake of the Lord's uh, bread, the bread and the, of the Lord's body and the Lord's holy beloved blood, his precious blood. And just what that's afforded, you know, just reminding myself what that's afforded me on a day-to-day -day basis, how that salvation is now, that Jesus is forever faithful. And I, and, it, and I was just reviewing my own, my own walk and, and testimony, how, what my limits are. I'm going to continue this at home because <laughs> there's some people coming. I don't want to, don't want to clash. So I'm going to continue later. Right, well I'm back from my walk and uh, I washed all, all my blood off, off my finger. It's quite a, it's very painful, it's like a gash. And, you know, considering blood, you know, having your, uh, those who had their blood spilt for Christ and Christ's precious holy blood, and something I've experienced as a child was uh, a blood trauma. I'm not very good with blood, uh, especially other people's blood, especially when I see it flowing. Uh, it's a precious gift and uh, the Lord's blood is uh, terribly precious, holy and it's, it's, it's the life-giving blood of all blood. It's the blood of cre the Creator and his blood is my blood, you know, he's purchased me. So you're looking at one of his purchased little gash finger who was uh, not paying attention when he should have been out with his wild animal, <laughs> a domestic animal that's still wild. And I was filming the wonderful, glorious uh, birds in the trees looking in, looking in, looking up in the sky. And this, uh, the beast jumped off my lead and nearly snapped out in front of me and I caught, I must have caught my finger in the way and, uh, anyway, I wanted to include my, uh, my testimony of, uh, well, really my own circumstances, how, uh, being traumatised. I just want, I just opened the scriptures today and, um, this was, the uh, the verse... Yeah, I thought, oh, what, what verse have I marked? And I thought, oh, I'll read that for today. That's my start. And it's uh, Matthew chapter 27. And this is after the Lord's resurrection. After the, the, living, the living God in the flesh rose up and the graves were open. And many bodies of the saints which slept arose and came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. What, what uh, wonderful news. And But what terrible tragedy that those, that the only rec faithful record that we have of that wonderful, glorious event, if you can imagine being in Jerusalem, in this holy city, and all these uh, resurrected people that, the, that are coming out of their graves, not necessarily people are seeing Jesus, People, only a select people saw Jesus, only a chosen, a chosen band who suffered faithfully for their testimony, so that we may have that we may have a record, a faithful record, sealed in, sealed in the precious blood of Christ and these uh, witnesses, his faithful chosen seed. And um, I, as a child, I was at, at two. I, was, I, I felt the full weight of of what Satan can do to a family and, a, and an adult, and then put that onto a child. And I still can't absorb what 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 that done to me. I just completely smashed me to pieces, and I had to go through life like that. So I wasn't saved until I was twenty three. So I was shut down in this trauma for that that long because of blood, because of my own blood.
being spilt when in, in my innocence and then that was concealed from my parents my mother knew for reasons uh, not fully understood except by compromise fear threats uh, something something it something twist in the arm uh, kept that from uh, the adult world in my life so I was severely traumatised and kept in that state so the only one who delivered me was the one who rose faithfully from death unto life and he purchased me so legally I am his so he is my physician, my soul physician so if there's any brother and sister, any any person in, in Christ in the world who feels vulnerable and who's forgotten uh, what they've received, what 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 the Lord has purchased, uh, how much he's concerned about our, our little pinkies and our our wounds and pains. And you know, thankfully I stopped bleeding, I stemmed the bleeding. <laughs> run it under the cold tap and I've got a shock of my life um, but thank God um, he delivers he delivers he's faithful he delivers deliver us this through trials I was reminded yesterday uh, of a sister who suffering with cancer and just standing up and pressing forward and a video in her testimony in journal it's such a a common blessing to see when you see somebody else you, it brings you out of your own it reminds you it renews your mind it renews your faith and you and you see all the um support that this this can draw from people's hearts and what a difference the lord makes in in our lives and that's the only reason i pick up i don't like videos i, I was thinking Oh, on the way home, you can't really be yourself in a video. You, you, if you stick your face on the camera, you're you're, so, you're self-conscious, and you don't you don't want to expose your vulnerabilities too much to to uh, you know the wrong the wrong heart and the wrong mind, and leave yourself open for a a fool or a, you know people to. But um, why why fear what people think? I certainly don't. I try not to, otherwise it will, you look at the shadow, you start You start becoming the shadow. I like, I'm reminded of, of my saviour and the light and life every minute, every second, because uh, Christ is eternal, he's sure, and today is is forever in Christ, in, he in heavenly places, heavenly places in Jesus, with the Father on his right hand in glory reigning in, in his, his seed's hearts, in his seed, in his saints, in his believers. He lives in the, he lives in the, the hearts of uh, those who believe, those who trust in his, in his faithfulness, his word, his promise, however they've come to that faith, by grace, by the Holy Spirit, by the Father, by the beloved Son and the resurrection, drawing all men unto himself, calling all men, to repentance and faith in that that resurrection unto eternal life, which I I've received, and once once it's received, it, it's it's eternal. How can it be lost? How can you lose your salvation? Um, I, I was just uh, reflecting on uh, you know yesterday. I didn't feel like. Uh, doing anything, I didn't feel like praising. I didn't. My flesh was really struggling. I was suffering trauma, repercussions. Trying to look for, trying to pray, trying, trying to look, trying to remain faithful. And but you know, when you're going through the thick of it, it's when your head's against the wind. You, you it's you're buffeted, and you can easily lose sight or be sifted for a for a period, for a moment, for a, a you know, for a, a fall from one extreme to another extreme and uh, we have those blessing, the Lord's continually blessing us to remind us and uh, renew our hearts in, 
in his uh, faithfulness, whatever our life circumstances, whatever we go through. And I was thinking, oh, well, you know, um, I've got so many things to be thankful for, although I realise what, what my limits are and how I have to remember, because one of my faults is I, I forget, I've got memory problems. Like, I, I forget what I've got. So I need to be reminded, so I've, the Lord's merciful to remind me and discipline me in that. that. That's where my adult experiences come from. My, 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 my parents being, because of my condition and such a seriousness, and the legality of it, there's no there's no law to protect vulnerable people who are traumatised, and uh, not 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 fully, and not and not um, not to recognise Christ. They won't recognise Christ. The law won't recognise Christ. It, it it will in lip service, but it in works it will deny it. So I I I've established that from the word of my testimony that. Um, God the Father is my sole owner. Jesus is my purchase. He he owns me. The Father's given me to Jesus. Jesus owns me. So he's my lawful advocate. He's my mediator. He's my lawyer. He's my judge and my jury. And he's my word. He's my guide. He's He will direct me in all matters of life in, in my circumstances. So I, I I have him first. I have his authority over my condition. So that gives me my agency. That gives me my right. But I know what my weakness is. So I know where my limits are. And I I need to know that the Lord has given me the right to preserve me over someone taking that right away from me to say that they that I'm a vulnerable person and I need this and I need that according to their right. So their right can't undermine my lawful right because my lawful right is given to me by the precious holy word and the law and the word of Jesus Christ. So they, th that cannot be undermined. So thank the Lord I have that and that keeps me, that keeps me armed and protected against liars and against people in the law who abuse the law just to cut corners. So praise the Lord. I have. I'm not. I don't want to be against the Lord. I'm not anti-law. I'm just. Um, I'm. I, I. I just want to meet the. I want to do what's right. But if it's not there to meet me, what I, I will stand for my Lord and my right. Not 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 an unlawful right in the name of the law. Behind the back and behind the curtain of the public face. And that's what I um, have to face, and and I won't, I can't, I can't afford to. So, I li I leave I leave all that burden on my Lord, on my Saviour, and trust Him, and not react. I was, I was, I, I saw I saw the tail end of uh, a guy named Tony Robinson, and now I don't know much about Tony, um, Tommy or Tony. I think it's Tommy Robinson an activist. I don't know if he's a Christian. I never I watched a few uh interviews and uh I watched an interview of his with Piers Morgan. Uh, and I could totally agree with him with about the Quran. Uh, but, so I, I but I I can't say I fully know everything about him but I never never once heard the, the gospel of salvation mentioned. And I thought of his character type and I thought I wonder if that He's. I can appreciate what he's standing for because I am also know what he's talking about, and wouldn't dispute some of the things he probably experienced in himself. So I, I I'm not a, an authority on on his testimony. That's his testimony. But uh, just some observations. I thought. I wonder if the he's um, been fighting and drawn into a, a rhetoric, a left-right paradigm against the government and perhaps the government are compromised themselves so they're not going to be able to face up and meet what, what he's crying out against so it creates this paradigm where there's friction so all, all, all will come to it is lawlessness, confusion and and 
and a, a roll on to roll out the referendum you know oh we need a new referendum like all those marches yesterday now <laughs> on the on the media on the fake media the or the portrayed news as it it, it shows that that's what the actual truth is well you can't question all those um uh, voters you know and if you've got any common sense you can see that they're all come over from europe so they're probably all uh roman catholic biased and european biased because that's that's who the floodgates have been open for the european favored voters so of course they're going to be you know rolling out the referendum and they use they use the media to use this word referendum they don't say what the referendum's on or, o over so it creates this confusion and this media hype it's really disgusting and I, 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 I had a thought yesterday and thought, well, do people really think this? Do people really, are, re are people really that um, deceived by the fake news? Or, or are, is there a few people that rally and go against it? Oh, the fake media. People have got eyes for themselves. I know, I know people are ignorant. But when you consider ignorance, right, no matter how much knowledge you've got, you're ignorant. We're all ignorant to whatever level. None of us know anything. We are, we are, you know, knowledge puff, the, the holy word says knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifieth. You know, what are we? We, no matter, the more you increase in knowledge, the more, if you're honest, the more you realise how how little you know you, you know nothing we do see darkly we are completely powerless and at the mercy of almighty god uh, i think that's an honest an honest reflection for everything that's the truth we are dependent on the one who, who gives life and we didn't give life, life ourselves we didn't create ourselves we can't take credit for creation we can't take credit for our mums and dads, our mums and dads can't take credits for making a baby, they just took part in what was provided for them to create life. No one can take that credit, no one can remove life, no one can abort life. You can't abort life, you can't interrupt life. And and, and the world is a um, a stage play of the, the omission of the truth, of God, of the creator of life, the life source. Antichrist, it rejects Christ as the source of all goodness and truth. Um, well, I, I can't, and I'm not going to. And the world, whatever the world chooses, it's always going to need its creator. You can't bring about, you can't, you, you can't force, you can't make things wrong to bring about good. You can't bring about chaos to, or, you know, to bring about order. We've always had peace. We've had peace since the cross. We've had peace on earth since the birth of Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, the Lamb of God, the Son of Man, the Messiah, the King of Israel, the High Priest, the Lamb, the Prophet, High Priest and King, David's King, God's beloved Son and the Lord Jesus Christ. And until people call, trust that name, uh, they're not going to know that life. They're not going to know the Father. They're not going to. They might know of the Father. They might have um, an inheritance of from that Father, from from the seed of Israel. But unless they they accept his 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 son, his life, his bosom, his his word that he gave, he gave up his word. His word gave up himself. For the Father, and the Father gave up the Word, His Son, to save His creation. Now that's when you when you weigh it, weigh it up. You know, He's He's given up everything for nothing. He's given everything up that He created to fix it. Why 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 is God fixing it? Why is God fixing it? And nobody wants to say thank you or accept it because the world's lost in unbelief because it, re it re just simply rejects the truth. 
Um, and that, that's my testimony, that Jesus Christ is the, the way, the truth and the life. And that was my, uh, my thoughts this morning. And my own testimony that um, my limits of my blood trauma, my limits in my walk, uh, the mercy of the Lord, he knows I'm a blinker, he knows that I couldn't sit in a seat of power, not without the proper support and the knowledge. But that, that's not realistically going to happen in this life. Not, not currently. And it's, I couldn't preach in the street because I would, not without, again, not on my own, not without support, I would... Um, I could get into the flesh, I could get into, I could blink. So I have to remain and, and stick to what the Lord's given me. And, and thankfully the Lord has blessed me richly with, with bringing people to my feet, bringing people to me and having the opportunity to go out and, and expand that experience, putting tracks through the doors, passing tracks out. You know, and I'm, I'm going to currently... Uh, Lord willing, carry on to do some sign painting and just go and stand and be a witness. That's all I need to do is be, just show a scripture or two on a sign and plant seeds and uh, trust the Lord to do the rest. So on a close X, my dog's crying and that, that I just want to leave these thoughts for anyone who's seeking a edification, edification or a blessing or hope in life. Um, I just wanted to share these uh this journal and testimony of my life and thoughts and my testimony of the, the living God and the reality of Jesus Christ that we must be born again. You must be born again, the Lord said. And today is salvation. Salvation is eternal and it's a free gift. You just need to believe and seek it for all your heart, mind and soul in, in repentance, in, in realising you're a sinner and the world is wicked and ungrateful and evil and the only remedy for that evil is life and truth and peace and mercy. And, you, and ev everybody needs forgiving because of the judgments of a holy God who gave his son up, who's been rejected, who paid the price of sin. So the world needs to um, realise it's sinful and go, and go and ask for forgiveness from a merciful God who sent his son to die to save all mankind from sin and death and hell. Eternity without love, without, without a creator, without the source of life in your existence. And he can't deny himself, so you'll be shut out from that underneath his, his presence and, and, and mercy. And you'll know it, and he won't, he, he done everything to prevent it. And that's my testimony on a close air. And um, Maranatha to my brothers and sisters, and uh, on a close and offer that in hope as as hope for somebody in faith, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless you, Jack Russell. Oh, he's a mongrel. I wanted to uh, just add some thoughts about he was distracting me. This dog is so highly strung, they're not they're not domestic dogs really. Jack Russell's a more of a working dog. And that's a shame. He's been rescued. He's he's not he's not hunted or had blood or anything. That would be he would be wild. He would be uncontrollable. And he's needed special attention because he's traumatised, so really the only only he's been more used to to me than anyone. That's like working in a hospital, in a mental hospital. The the patient, uh, the the nurses and doctors learn more than the the re the people in there need to. It's ironic. Anyway, I wanted to give, just because I, I got distracted. I wanted to, just to add some thoughts on um, uh, Tony Robinson. No, I, I don't, like I said, I didn't know much about that guy and I, I got distracted from what I was saying. But I, you know, I, I pray for the guy that he's delivered and that it, it's, um, it's given, to me, it's given power to the media voice and playing into the rhetoric. Because I don't honestly think, no, no, no media voice can speak for every single individual 
and that's what people react to. They react to the media voice or their perception of what other people think, and they chase the shadow. And and I know because I get swept up in it because I can see it in myself in Tony Robinson. You want to be the people's champion kind of thing. There's always that temptation. I wondered if the guys kind of been the the devil's kind of set him up and sifted him into that role, and he's kind of been caught on on the you know in the teeth of the the opposition he's going to face because the government are in the teeth of, of the same opposition that, that possibly the country is in the teeth of. And that comes from lawlessness and, and the criminals in Rome and, and all, all that's associated to these world powers against our lawful powers. And Tony Robinson's um, unfortunately one of those faces, political face that's been caught up in the People's Rally. And it, it I, you know, it, it will be manipulated, I, I believe. So I'm just, I don't know, I don't know anything. I'm just going to pray for the, the guy and pray for our government and pray for our country and pray for people's souls. So I wanted to add that because I got distracted and rushing my, because uh, the dog was whining. No, he's all right. <laughs> so I want to settle down and uh, enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. Praise the Lord. Um, Maranatha, in Jesus Christ's name, Amen.